Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In this video, we're going to mod the NES Classic Edition, but the newly released Classic Edition. Let's get started. So if you have just recently purchased a brand new NES Mini, the second batch, then this video should be for you. And if you're wondering if you have the old or new Classic Edition, this is what the new Classic Edition looks like. And on the screen there, you can see the old Classic Edition. So the new one has the Nintendo seal of quality above the Nintendo logo. And the entire reason I brought this up is because the newly released Classic Edition will not work properly, or I've been told and it's been reported that it will not work correctly with older versions of Hackchi. So Hackchi has a new release. Uh, it's kind of an official, unofficial release. It's Hackchi CE. And Hackchi CE stands for Community Edition. I'll leave a link to where everything can be found in the description below as well, along with a Reddit site that'll be helpful if you have any questions or issues along the way. For this video, I'm using Hackchi 2 CE version 3.4.1. There are two versions on this website available, the debug and release. I'd highly recommend picking up the release edition. So the link is right here. You just click it. It is a total of 17.8 megabytes. The next step is to open Hackchi 2 zip file. I would highly recommend extracting it all to one folder isolated from everything else. Once you have Hackchi 2 extracted, this works a little bit better for me if I right click it and go to run as administrator. On first run, you are greeted with this opening screen. Hello there, I'm very glad that you're using Hackchi 2. It's very simple to use, just click add more games, select some ROMs, press synchronize to upload games to the console internal memory, or press export to use the USB host mode and follow the instructions. Good luck. There is also an advisory here. It says, it's possible that Hackchi 2 CE may not discover your NES or SNES Mini. Yes, you can also use this to mod the SNES Mini. Um, when you first open the new version, give it more time than usual to make sure at least two minutes. And if nothing happens, it's possible you need to use the hold reset method to update your kernel with this new release. If you are using this tutorial for an SNES Mini, uh, just click this drop down here and select Super NES either for Europe or USA. The next step is to go to kernel, click install slash repair. It says, do you want to flash the custom kernel? Yes, I do. So please do the following steps. Make sure the power button on your NES slash SNES mini is switched off. Reconnect your NES slash SNES mini to the PC via USB cable. Hold the reset button and turn the power switch. After a few seconds, release the power button and the power LED should not be on. Install the driver if it's not installed yet. So first things first, make sure that these buttons are even. If they are not, the power is turned on. So if one button is down, power is on, power is off. So the buttons are even. I'm gonna connect it via micro USB at the back to my computer here. At this point, I'm holding the reset button and now I'm about to press the power button. It automatically sees that I've done this and now I'm letting go of the reset button. At this point, it says uploading the kernel, and now I am just waiting. It got to about 22%, and now it says please wait while your NES slash SNES mini is rebooting. And just like that, it's done. It says done. You can now upload games to your NES slash SNES mini. If you'd like to put RetroArch cores, now is the time to do it. You head over into Modules, then go to Hackchi Mod Store. At this point, there's a nice welcome screen. You can click on additional functionality, add some things here if you would like. 
you can go over to RetroArch, and this is RetroArch, the entire uh, RetroArch package. It includes all of the uh, emulators that you need. However, if you want, you can go over to Cores and then download specific ones that you're looking for for specific devices. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna add one game that I really wish was on the NES Classic, and that's Blades of Steel. So click Add More Games. Navigate to where your ROM is located. Uh, here, I've got it as bladesofsteel.nes. So I'll double click that. To get the proper artwork for this game, I'm going to click Google and it brings up different artwork that I can use in menu. So this one looks a little washed out. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones here, a bunch of incorrect ones. I'm going to use one that looks a little prettier. So I'm just gonna select this one here and that should put the proper artwork for the game in the menu. At this point, I'm going to select synchronize selected games with the NES slash SNES Mini. And that's it. Now I can shut down Hackchi, unplug my NES, and plug it into the TV, and I'm off to the races. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments below, but I will leave a couple of Reddit links of pages that are very, very good that contain a ton of information. Thank you everyone, take care.